This is the document form properties edit button at SharePointDashboards.com. This is a button similar to the edit button used for SharePoint lists and this will help guide users that need to fill in required data. So in your SharePoint document library you may want to have extra fields, metadata, to help to structure those documents, make them easy to search, and so on. In my example here, I've added a column called status, and I need to make sure that I get that data from users when they upload documents. So to use this template, what I need to do is provide the name of the required field. So the field I need to make sure gets entered by the user is called status. So my first step would be to add the name of the required field. I just put this here and then um, I can make updates to other information as well if I need to uh, but you can see a preview of how that's going to look. So the top button shown in preview is how the button will appear when a document is first uploaded and you can see it stands out. Um, it's a red orangish color in this example it says data needed so as soon as somebody uploads something they know that they need to do that and then once the data gets entered it reverts back to a neutral state um, so that's what's demonstrated in the preview you just need a text field or you can even use the calculated field as a placeholder and apply the template over that so I'm going to stick with these options and click copy template, follow the directions in the box, and then click OK. And then I've created a column. You can name it what you want. I like to name it form. And then I'm going to go to column settings, format this column, advanced mode, then select all, paste, and save. OK. so. These documents have already been uploaded, so I just see a regular button here that just says edit data, and that just opens the properties edit button for my document. Let's go ahead and drag and drop a new file there um, just to see how this works. So as is normally the case, users will drag and drop files into libraries. And so I'm going to draw, drag a new document in, just called Year End Project Planning. And now you can see how this helps. So SharePoint shows me a little warning message, but users may not even notice that. This is going to help stand out and say data needed, and it's in a different color, has different text. Um, so people should pay attention to that. So they just click on the button and then they can fill in the required field, which we um, set as being the status field and save. And then once I do that, the button reverts back to the neutral state. So this is a great way to ensure that users enter required data when they're uploading documents by using this special button. So this is the document form button. It's at SharePoint dashboards. This template is linked under the video and you can go to this website to sign up for 21 free templates and then in addition there's many more available um, with the subscription option. I hope you found that useful and I hope you are able to add this button into your document libraries. Good luck.